Okay, here's something you're not going to find that often nowadays. A um, good looking, tested and working uh, JB12 Black Cat. Um, this one has been redone not by me but by somebody else they made it look nice i don't have the patience you know to take everything off and paint it and uh put the strips on and and all that like they did um this is a printout that's not the metal one by the way but you know all around a very very nice JB12 redone, not by me. You know, they even, um, I don't know if those are printouts or not, with the uh, uh, stickers on them. Interesting that they would sell a uh, amplifier made for 10, 11 meters and then tell you not to use this amplifier made for that range in that range, right? Um, model JB12. And this one was also set up as a receive booster with the bias. So since it was uh, turning on the uh, amplifier, the amplifier to receive, even in standby, that tube was getting hot and overheating. And we've um, changed that around and uh, got it working as a uh, 10 meter amplifier for experimental uh, learning purposes only. And uh, we got it on a dummy load, as always. We're not transmitting on the air or broadcasting. Um, on a dummy load, uh, one and a half watt radio going into it. We're losing watts because we got that radio going through so much other stuff. But we got it set up where the uh, radio's going to show on that watt meter or the drive. And then the um, output of this uh, amplifier is going to show on that one. And they're both set to the uh, 20 watt scale, and we're not on peak. So the 20 watt scale average. And a key are down. Yellow, hello, hello, hello. Audio, audio. And up here on the watt meters, this is the watts going into it, the radio going into it on average. Just a watt and a half. Audio, audio, swinging at three or so. And then I got it um, set. I tried to set it for the same watts that the um, radio is doing. That's why these are called modulators. They're not really made to uh, do much dead key, but they're made to swing a lot. So I got it set to about the same dead key. There's a, a variable adjustment in the rear. Or you could take the dead key up and down with that uh, input variable adjuster there. And this thing will probably dead key 10, 20 watts. But what I say is not for long. It's not made for that. This is made to dead key 4 watts or less or less and then swing from there. And again, we got it dead keying about what the radio's dead keying. Audio, audio, audio. Audio. Radio. Modulator. Audio. And again, that's on RMS. Unless we're going to put them both on peak. Yeah. Radio on peak. Audio. Audio. 6, 7 watts. Oh. Amplifier on peak. 20 watt scale in the corner. Audio, audio, audio. Oh, I'm still on 20. I'm hitting the wrong button. Senior moment. Okay, 200 watt peak. Audio, audio. Shh. About 27 watts. Hello, hello, hello. From a, a watt and a half, watt and a quarter dead key to about 27 watts peak. With again, that's the peak drive going into it, about six, seven watts. To about 25, 27 watts, peak watts out. Doing what it's supposed to do, modulating, a lot of swing. Makes a uh, great driver for an amplifier. Um, it'll do more than that. Um, you know, maybe key four or five at max and probably swing to about uh, 
45 from there is what they do. Uh, Black Cat JB12 with the uh, single 6BQ5 power tube. And this one's um, got the um, King tube. Some people say, oh, that's a driver tube. No, that's a King tube. Keys to relay only. The smaller two uh, keys up the relay. On the later ones, they went to a transistorized keying circuit tube. So they got rid of the keying tube on the later one. So this must be an earlier one. And you can also tell by that meter. Um, that's an older style meter with it. So anyway, that's going to be it on the uh, JV-12. Guy did a good job. You know, made it look good. All right. That's it for this one. Bye.